Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to perform a standard compression check on an engine, a jet ski engine. Um, what I've got here is a Kawasaki 1100. This is a 1999 model. And of course you remove the seats to gain access to your spark plugs and they're right there on the top. You're gonna to need a compression gauge like this one. This one, I think I got it all those on years ago. It does have a pressure holder, so it'll hold the pressure and you can release it with this thumb button. You've got to have the correct adapter. This fits the larger plugs, and then this comes with the kit to screw on and fit these uh, more extended reach plugs. So I screw the adapter on, and then, of course, you've got to have a tool to remove your plug. This is a 13 16 You're either going to have a 13 16 or a 5 8 most of the time. Uh, to remove your spark plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the plugs, pull all the boots, and you just grab them, and pop them off. And these, on this particular ski, and most jet skis are this way, are you're pretty much not going to get them confused where they go because of the length. It's going to determine the position uh, that it goes to when you put it back on. So... When you perform a compression check, pull the plugs. You've got to hold the throttle wide open. Now, ideally, you do this with the engine warm, warmed up. Obviously, you can't with a ski that's been sitting. But uh, this will give you an idea of what your compression is going to be. So I'm going to remove the plugs, and then we'll get to the next part of the video. Okay, so I am just going to, if you see I'm turning the uh, compression gauge into it. You don't have to sit here and tighten this compression gauge up with a wrench or anything because it's got an o-ring at the bottom of it it's going to hold most of the uh, pressure and my gauge is let's see you can see it's not all the way down there's a rest stop on the gauge it is in the zero range but it's not all the way against the pin down here about the end of my thumbnail so maybe this isn't the most accurate gauge in the world. We're going to do a compression check on that cylinder. Um, this cylinder, I'm going to call it cylinder number one. It's also the magneto. The magneto is this cover. It's covering up the, a lot of people say the M side and the PTO side. Power takeoff is in the back. Magneto is always in the front. So sometimes you'll see that on forum posts and you don't know what they're talking about. That's what they're talking about. Your magnetos here in the front. PTO side is the back. Whether you've got a two-cylinder, three-cylinder jet ski, that's always going to be the same. And it doesn't matter what brand. All right. So I've got to, with this Kawasaki, I've got to switch it on because it has an on-off. And then... I will turn over my engine and hold the throttle. So, I'm holding the throttle wide open. Give it a spin. All right, so you see I've got 120 on my front cylinder. That's good. You want a good uh, reading like that. Now, ideally, you want all of your cylinders to be within just a few PSI of each other, if not exactly the same as each other. So uh, we'll check the other two and see what they are. And of course I can release the pressure right here. There we go, pressure's off. All right, move on to the next one. Okay, next cylinder, let's give it a shot. Twenty again. That's a good sign. Let the pressure off. Go check your last one. Okay. Here's another good practice to do when you're checking these cylinders. And you will notice this third plug. And I've had a problem with this ski. And I think we just found out what it is just by looking at the plugs. You can see how these are black. They've been firing. This plug, nothing's on it. It's not black. It looks brand new. This plug hasn't been firing. Now, 
Let's see. There was an issue. See how there's a different color tie wrap on that boot. I noticed um, this boot had come loose and I had re-tie wrapped it. This ski wasn't running properly. And I could only get it to run like 30 some odd miles an hour in the lake. And now I know why. Um, because my boot pulled loose out of this uh, cable here, apparently even when I re-threaded it, it's still not firing on this back cylinder. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut just maybe a half inch of the cable. I'll, I'll these screw on, by the way. They've got like a post screw, just like a motorcycle, if you've ever worked on those. This boot will unscrew from that cable. It's got a post in it. Sometimes the boot, this can actually be bad. You can check that with a voltmeter by ohming it. But uh, I'm going to have to clip this cable and uh, re-thread that boot onto it because I'm not getting spark to my back cylinder. And I had wondered what was going on with this jet ski and just doing the compression check. Now I know because I've laid my plugs out in the order that they came out of the engine. There's my number one. There's my middle. And there's my last one. And that last plug has not been firing, y'all. You can tell. Um, it also looks like from the color of the plugs that this thing's running really rich. You want to see, ideally, see how that brown on that ceramic right there? You want a chocolatey brown color like that to know that your ski, your air fuel mixture is just right. You can see this one, how dark it is and gray. Um, yeah, that, that, that needs some adjustment on that middle carb. So that's not right. And then this one, obviously, not firing at all. So... There's my problem, um, and it also could be a bad spark plug. You can get plugs that are no good. They'll have a crack in the ceramic, and you don't even notice it, but um, something is wrong here. Now, a way I can check that is to leave the plug on, out like this. Leave the plug, plug this into the, like it's supposed to be, but leave it out ground it against the engine of course holding it by the boot and turn it over and look for spark down there um, and that's one way you can check the plug there's another way to do it if you've got a timing light you can hook the timing light inductive timing light over the uh, cable and turn the engine over and see if your light is firing so that's another way to do it uh, i'll go ahead and check the compression on the last cylinder and we'll be done with this video all right let's hit it That's what we got. Just under 120. So a little bit less. But it's not, not uh, too bad off from the other two. Uh, this is, engine is in good shape. I found out after buying this ski, it only has 93 hours on it. Uh, but the, the stator went out on this one. And when the stator went out, it took out the um ecm electronic control module which is inside that box right there that's a five six hundred dollar part i managed to find one on ebay that the guy had reworked the entire box and i bought the whole thing uh, for a little less than just what the cost of a module is it still was over five hundred dollars but uh anyway that's how you check your compression and at the same time go ahead and read your spark plugs take a look at them See what kind of condition you want that chocolatey brown color on the electrode, that ceramic white part of the plug. You want to see that brown ideally. Uh, if you get the gray, <laughs> uh, silvery gray color, you're running lean. That's not good. You'll tear your engine up. You'd rather run rich any day and have it black and fouling the plugs than to be running these things lean. But I hope that helps you with... Uh, just doing a simple compression check. Just remember, always wide open throttle when you're turning the engine over to check the compression. And like I said, ideally, you do it when the engine's warm, but you can't always do that. Thanks for watching Shade Tree Jet Ski.
We'll see you in the next video.